Ryan Ham here, and what you see before you is a pair of pistol frames, a Ruger Mark II over here, and a Ruger 2245 Mark III over here. The 2245 Mark III has an issue, and I brought this up on a previous video, where the trigger fits very loosely in the frame, and uh, the trigger pin especially does not do uh, a good job. Uh, I'll kind of demonstrate that. You can see this. All that side to side play. And then there's also wiggle because the pins don't fit. You can see this. See that pin moving around there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clean some of that up. This is really a gunsmith job. I'm just going to show you it's possible. These are washers, shim washers, that are very thin. And I'm going to use those to shim up the play in there. You can see they, uh, they go on and uh, they will eliminate play in the parts there. I just have to do trial and error and figure out how many shims I'm going to need to use in order to do that. And I got a bunch here, so should not be a problem. Oh, and this, this is a extended drill bit that I got, um, I believe, off of eBay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the shank off of this, and I'm going to use that as the new uh, trigger pivot pin. This is a number 19. This happens to be a high speed, high speed steel, steel pin. I'm going to cut it off so it'll still be usable. I'll cut it off probably a section uh, roughly around there. And uh, I'll uh, put a new groove in there. I'll show you how I do that too. And what that'll do is I'll have to use the same drill bit to drill through the trigger as well as the slide release and then the both sides of the frame. If you notice, the slide release is also very loose, and I'm hoping to take up some of the slop in that slide release as well. Well, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll be back in a few, and you'll see the finished product a lot sooner than I will, because I'm going to go and do the work right now. See you in a few. Okay, now that I have the gun apart, I wanted to demonstrate how loose these parts actually fit together. You can see a tremendous amount of play in this particular part. This is the slide release. It just makes everything sloppy. Here's the trigger pin. And that's actually pretty tight. So the trigger itself was okay. But uh, the pin fit in the frame. You can see a tremendous amount of play. That's uh, forward and back. We also have up and down play. That hole is oversized, uh, far too much. And I've seen a couple like this, and they're all like that. Uh, this sole, however, is a little bit better, but still oversized. Forward and back, up and down, still oversized. But you'll notice, though, that my number 19 drill bit will not go in that side, will not go in this side, but although it seems like it wants to, uh, also will not go through the slide release and it will not go through the trigger uh, so uh, essentially when I drill this out it's going to be a uh, number 19 size and uh, I will use the drill rod as a trigger pin and we should be good to go all right I'll be back in a minute hopefully we'll have the finished product in just a minute Okay, so as you can see, I made my pin, and I will show it to you. So essentially, I just cut it off, uh, dress the end up, and uh, cut a groove there with a Dremel tool. You can see the groove is, I don't need that other groove, but the groove is pretty close. Um, the, the pin is pretty close, 
and I do not need this old undersized pin anymore. So I'm going to set that aside and we'll put the pin through here and you can see that without all that stuff in there a little spring comes up and it retains it kind of uh, like the old pin does. It does pop out of that groove a little easier than the old one does, but uh, under a recoil that should stay put. Uh, it's as good as I'm going to do it. Uh, if if it uh, if I start having problems with it, I'll just go in and uh, well, I'll just go in and make another pin because I've got more drill bit left. There you go. I'm going to move on to the shimming part. Okay, you should be able to see a shim down inside of there. And I shim the tr trigger all the way over to the right side. There's my new pin installed. It isn't moving on me any. The uh, wiggle that was previously in the slide stop has been minimized. The side to side play in the trigger. And I'll try and get a good enough shot of that. But there's still a little bit, but virtually gone. And that was what I was looking for. Everything functions as expected. There you go. Feels a lot like my uh, Mark II here. And just for comparison. Yeah. Around the same, I would say the Mark II definitely is still tighter from the factory. And it's 10. 3,000 shims that I put in there and you can see them hopefully you can see them and they are right tucked down inside of there shiny so uh, that is how to uh, drill out replace the uh, trigger pin uh, with a tighter tolerance uh, trigger pin to take all the slop out of the or as, as much of the slop as possible out of the Mark III trigger and done. Well, uh, I don't know how well that's going to translate. Uh, it's peace of mind mostly. It, uh, it did take about 45 minutes to an hour uh, roughly to do. So now the gun is fully assembled and you can see that the trigger pin looks a little bit different maybe. <laughs> and uh, certainly looks different from this side because that was the side that I cut of my drill bit. So I made a trigger pin out of a drill bit, put some shims in there, and uh, drilled it out to a slightly larger size so this closer tolerance is. You can sh see my trigger moves very little. And it actually uh, helps the feel of the trigger a lot. And I've done a couple of other things to this. I've replaced a loaded chamber indicator and I've uh, actually <laughs> taken the magazine disconnect out so that pops out. You can actually shoot that at people. You're out of ammo. Just uh, pew! Uh, one more thing I did that I did off camera is I, I cleaned up and uh, removed some material at the bottom of the grip uh, so that the, the magazine would suit a little better. There you go. Right on ham. If you enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it, please click like, favorite, subscribe, share, comment, whatever you'd like to do. Again, this is Ryan Ham. Goodbye.